Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we'll be using StatCrunch to do hypothesis tests, this time using proportion stats. Okay, so one big clue um, that you'll be using proportion stats is you'll see a P here instead of a mu. Yeah, or you might see a P hat. Or you might also see uh, percentages in the story problem. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go into stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. Again, that was stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. <clears throat> okay, so it looks kind of similar to the Z and T test with some major differences. Okay, so we still got the hypothesis test here. So that's the easy part. We'll match that up. So I'll put my test number in here. And I'll make sure the alternate alternative hypothesis matches. Not equal to, not equal to. Okay. <clears throat> now instead of mean standard deviation sample size, we have successes and observations. So the easy part is our observations. That's going to be n. Okay. Now our successes is going to be our n times our p hat. So we need to multiply these two together to get our successes. Okay, so for mine, that's 46. Okay, so everything's filled out. Click on Compute. There is the standardized test statistic and your p-value. Okay. And that's really all there is to it. It's that simple. All right, thank you for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for my next video.